Hi, I'm Jeff Willinger. I am with a company called Right Point here in beautiful Chicago. Uh, I'm thrilled to be a part of the European SharePoint community and SharePoint Europe conference, or I think it's European SharePoint conference. I'm going to talk to you today about something that I think that most companies are lacking when they're developing their SharePoint intranet, and that's really starting with a roadmap. I'm very passionate about uh, the crawl, walk, run process and really answering the question for the end user, what's in it for me? I like to start out with answering why are we doing this? What's a maybe a three to five year ROI on it? And really justify the investment with various milestones along the way. Then I like to talk about who are the users and how do we influence them? Finding the influencers within the organization uh, really will ensure long-term success and really answer the question, what's in it for me? And then finally, I like to focus on the technology. Too many times I see that uh, IT likes the shiny new thing, whether it's software or the latest and greatest platform, and they really uh, don't focus on, uh, uh, they focus too much on the technology and they don't focus on answering the other questions to really build some momentum and really answer what I call the four A's, accelerated, acceptance, adoption, and advocacy. And when I think about a project uh, like a roadmap, again, I break it up into usually five different categories. The first phase really being the discovery phase. During the discovery phase, we uh, do envisioning, stakeholder interviews and insights, end user context, uh, I like to do a content assessment, visual strategy, requirement, and then cultural and organizational evaluation. That's a step one. And then I'll do um, a, uh, a gap analysis to make sure that we're not missing anything. Step two is really defining or what I call collaborating. And when I talk about collaborating, I'm really focusing on information architecture, interaction design, uh, tagging strategy, content migration, and really getting that change enablement blueprint uh, ready to go on to the next stage, which is design or what I would call innovating. And when I think about innovating, I think about the visual design, the technical integration, and a migration design. It's one thing if we're just going to start over, it's another thing if we really, uh, if we uh, have that strategy in place. There's no need if we're sitting in a room like this and we've got beautiful carpet and if we're going to move the carpet to another room and it's bolted in because it's completely custom, uh, I really want to uh, focus on configuring, not customizing. And then finally, uh, having an engagement strategy with early and intentional uh, engagement and change management around that. And then the absolute last part is really designing, uh, is implementing and executing. I can't tell you how many organizations that I talk to on a regular basis where they start building, testing, deploying, and optimizing, and they sort of forget the first three steps. So to me, uh, the implementing is what I also call executing. That step four is really building, testing, deploying, and enabling. And then finally, iterating. Which, and when I think about iterating, it's really evolving, analyzing, optimizing, deploying. And uh, out of those, I break those into three different categories. Usability and information architecture, technology, functionality, and in infrastructure, and then training, awareness, and governance. Think if you get nothing else out of this video, I want you to remember the three stages, crawl, walk, run. Um, and that's all I've got for today. Uh, thanks for your time, and we'll see you in Europe. Bye.